Hello everyone, welcome to part 70 of Laravel 11 series in which we are getting the e-commerce website with Laravel and MongoDB. So we will continue working on the product detail page and in this part we are going to show the product details uh, with their breadcrumb and also we are going to show the product images with their zoom feature as well. Okay, so uh, we are going to follow the instructions uh, that you can find under video description. Uh, sorry under the video you can find these instructions okay so uh, one by one we are going to follow all these instructions and this is the detail page that we able to embed in our laravel website from our template and everything is coming fine here you can see and now first thing is that uh, we want to update the detail function in the uh, product controller and uh, in the detail function we are going to uh, call the products okay i'm going to close all earlier files and we'll open the product controller once again here i'm going to open the product controller at the front and we'll modify the detail function earlier on the detail function does not have anything but now it's going to have the product details query in which we are going to fetch the products uh, that belong uh, see uh, not uh, just the single product the product details of this particular id uh, okay that particular id i'm going to open that product okay so this is the particular id okay I'm talking about this product okay that we have opened from the listing page once again we are going to open this product from the listing page like if I'm going to open this product from the listing page here you can say see that we able to fetch the information of that particular product but right now uh, it's completely static okay we are going to make it dynamic uh, so this is the product details query and this product details we are uh, just uh, returned to the product detail blade and here you can see that we have added the relations like the category brand attributes as well as the images uh, along with it and after that uh, uh, we are going to modify in the product detail blade file as well we are going to uh, show uh, its uh, name and you can see uh, i'm going to search from here and here you can see uh, its name i'm going to update this span with its name product name as well as the brand name as well okay and this one is the span okay inside it so i'm just required to replace this span with this one so that we can dynamically show the product name as well as its brand name okay so after that uh, we are going to modify the detail function once again okay so here we are going to modify the detail function uh, once again to have the category details okay uh, we have the category details function as well in the category model uh, from uh, we, uh, see we will update the detail function once again to call category details function that we made earlier for generating the breadcrumb okay for generating the breadcrumb and and here uh we have already having the breadcrumb in category details function i'm going to open this one and i'm going to open the category model and then i'm going to check out the category details in which uh, we are having the breadcrumb and this breadcrumb we are going, going to use it means that here this part we are going to make it dynamic okay right now it is static we will show that this product belongs to which category and what's its main category okay so that thing will only come via breadcrumb and that uh, for that we are going to modify the uh, breadcrumb uh, here in the detail bread file okay i'm going to search via the uh, here breadcrumb okay maybe something uh breadcrumb is the here uh -huh. here it is okay so i'm going to replace the static breadcrumb with the dynamic breadcrumb that uh, we are having from the our function okay so here I'm going to check here, refresh here, and here you can see the product name is dynamic and it belongs to the arrow brand and these breadcrumbs are dynamic. Okay, if this product belongs to this this particular t-shirts category and that t-shirts category belongs to this main category that is the main category. Okay, so its breadcrumbs are coming, its uh, subcategory as well as the main category is uh, is coming. Okay, so let's continue and after that uh, uh, here we are going to show the other things as well like uh, we are going to show the prices as well okay after after the product name as well as the brand name uh, we are going to show the prices okay 
so here we are going to modify the price div okay uh, here we're going to show the main price along with its discount as well so we are going to modify this part and here you can show the uh, we are going to show the final price of the product and we will show the discount as well if uh, if the discount is coming okay and uh, this one uh, from here we need to see okay what i can do here uh, we can check that what details that are coming in our function okay so here we can check the complete details like this and here i'm going to see uh, like uh, which thing is coming here in discount tab you can see discount tab is also coming here somewhere uh see here the discount type is product okay so final price is here product discount so product discount is 10 percent okay so here uh we will make it dynamic as well here uh, i'm going to make it like as well okay here it will come like the product discount okay something like this will come and uh so we can see the complete information we can debug it like this if something is missing we can find it okay so now you can see uh it's discount as well as the price that are coming uh, dynamically as well okay so let's see next thing uh, that we are going to show the product images as well so finally we are going to show the product images dynamically as well okay and this is the product detail zoom uh, and uh, this one okay so here we are going to replace this complete product detail zoom and uh, like this and here we are going to see that whether the products are coming dynamically now yes now you can see the t-shirt the same t-shirt that we have opened from the listing page and it's working fine zoom is also working fine okay so once again we will go back and we'll open the t-shirts here and see if i will click on blue t-shirt then blue t-shirt is coming we don't have any alternate images so far so that's why it is not opening and if you will click on red t-shirt then red t-shirt is coming and it's having one alternate image we are going to click on that and that alternate image is also coming okay so it's working fine now we able to show the product images as well we able to show the product name these breadcrumbs uh, product brand name and here uh, we have shown the price as well if the if the product is having some discount then we are going to show the discount as well okay uh, like uh, we are showing here uh, this product is having some discount we are showing here the 10 percent discount and also what is its mrp okay uh, okay uh, and it this is the sale price so uh, we will continue uh, further things and we are going to do uh, we are going to show the product side is in the next part okay along with that we are going to show the total and remaining stock of the product and we will also show the product availability in the next part so please stay tuned for the next part that's all for now have a nice time goodbye